All right, one of the things that I wanted to talk about today is the Redbubble Partner Program. And I think it's one of the most overlooked programs on in, in Redbubble, just in general. Like, you know, we talk about niche marketing, we talk about stickers, we talk about designs. I really want to encourage you to spend a little bit of time exploring this Redbubble Partner Program if you're looking for an untapped niche. One of the biggest complaints, and I'm just typing in here in Google, Redbubble Partner Program. Again, the first one's going to be an ad. It's Redbubble comes up depending on the country you're in. I happen to be in Canada. But as I scroll down here, the second result says Redbubble Partner Program. So I'm going to click on that and I'll just do a quick vent here. I get a lot of comments on the channel and a lot of people will say, Oh, there's no point in doing this. There's so many designs, you know, you're competing with hundreds of thousands of different designs. Well, that's true if you type in the word cat, for example. Yes, there's going to be a million, billion, trillion designs. But I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about the Redbubble Partner Program, and I'll show you there's some untapped niches in here. And if you get your design approved, and it just means you have to create a high quality design. It's not outrageous to do that. You'd hope you're, you know, we're all skilled enough to do that. If that happens, then you can get your design into the partner program. And what that means is Redbubble is now selling licensed designs that people will want. So you, you go to this Redbubble partner program website, and then there's a little linky here that says, how does this work or how does it work? And it just scrolls down the page. So it says brand partnerships. You know, we've partnered with brands. This is a big one is check the guidelines. Each brand has its own set of guidelines and we'll get into the guidelines here in just a second. And then the third one is just as important. You wanna make sure to tag your work properly. And so you're gonna to need to read through the little paragraph they've got about how to submit your work properly. Just from my, from my experience, I've gotten a few of these designs uploaded. I haven't spent as much time on this as I would like. I've, I've found easier niches to get into, but if you get into this, it's you're in, okay? And so what, what I mean by that is if once your design's approved, it's approved and it will sit in a relatively small field of competing designs. And there's a little what we call in the business world, a moat around it, just like a castle, you know, a medieval castle has a moat. Well, there's now a protection around your design. And I'll, and I'll show you what I mean as we jump into this a little bit more. So here's the current brands. Now there's three and some people just go, oh, there's three brands, well, who cares? Well, there's way more brands. Just underneath it says, are there more brands? Of course there are. Check out the entire list of brands currently engaged in the program. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on all the different brands and we can see the different current brand partnerships here for Redbubble. And here's all the different brands that we've got going on at Redbubble, all right? And if you just click on any of them, it'll give you more information. So let's just click, I'm just gonna open up Weezer, for example, okay? Weezer is a very popular rock band, okay? They've been around for a long time. And so this is now the guidelines for Weezer. So it's pretty easy. It says tag your work with Weezer, Weezer fan art. By tagging your design with either the word Weezer or the phrase Weezer fan art, it will immediately be suspended. And of course, the first time this happens, everyone has a heart attack and goes, oh my goodness, my design's been suspended. Well, it's because they're reviewing it for the Redbubble Partner Program. That's a good thing. And then when it gets approved, it will then be in Redbubble, just like all the other designs. So we've got accepted formats and recommended dimensions. This is always nice. If you're in Photoshop, you can just create a little template for that design. And then you just click on the button to submit your Weezer fan art. Now the, underneath it, there's do's and don'ts. The do's are pretty common. Use a variety. You can also download the assets. And I'm going to just click on that link and let it just load up there for a second. But we've got referencing some of the favorite songs. So if you're, if you're, of the mindset that trademarked items sell, and I think it's fair to say that that's true, this is a great way for people, artists, to go in and create Redbubble approved designs. So when I click on the Weezer assets, here is the zip extractor and there's a bunch of different designs, logos, high quality, you know, PNG or JPEG files, that sort of thing. So you, you know, you can open this up and there's a whole bunch of different designs in there. And it's like this for every single one of these guidelines that are on the left hand side. So I'm just going to open up Redbubble site. Okay. And we'll just see here, I'm going to click on 
I've got a bunch of different recent searches here, but I'm just going to click on Weezer. So pretend I'm a client and I'm just, you know, going on here. Well, there's only 242 results for Weezer. Like, that's not that many, right? Like, 242 is pretty good. Considering if we type in, for example, cat, it's going to be a million, billion, trillion results here that come back. Here's the result. It's over a million designs, right? So instead of competing with that, you get the benefit of, whoops, can't type here. We get the benefit of having an approved genre. I mean, that's a great design right there. There's a song, pretty famous song by Weezer. My name is Jonas. I mean, it's great. I mean, it's witty. It's got a little trademark in here because that's one of the you know the things that they recommend. We've got song lyrics. And again, there's many, many different products here at Redbubble, right? There's not just, there's not just t-shirts, right? Now, look, are there going to be ones that come in here that are trademarked that are not authorized? Absolutely. But again, don't worry about that, right? You don't need to worry about what other people are doing. Even with the violating designs, even with the trademark infringers, there's still only in this entire genre, the entire world is searching for Weezer and we see 242 results. That's pretty wimpy amount of results. So you've got a great opportunity to jump in here and get a few different designs into the, uh, into the Redbubble Partner Program. Now, the other one that I want to type in is the word KISS. And, and of course, you know, the band KISS is part of the Redbubble Partner Program. So if you're a KISS fan like me, I love the band KISS. I grew up listening to them. Here's an opportunity for me now to create licensed KISS merchandise. Now, when I type in, the first thing you're going to see is 99,000 results and people are going to go, oh my goodness, that's too many results. Hold on. It's the word KISS. So there's lips, there's skeletons kissing, there's avocado hugging a sushi or just whatever this, oh, it's fish, fish hugging a sushi. There's, you know, skeletons getting ready to give each other a hug. I mean, there's Donald Trump. I mean, there's all sorts of, you know, stuff here that's got nothing to do with the band kiss, right? So one of the things that people do when they're searching for a specific item is they type in other phrases. So when we go to say Kiss Destroyer, which is their probably their most famous album, there's only 57 results. Like in all of Redbubble, the key phrase Kiss Destroyer has literally 57 results. I mean, that's that blows my mind. So if you're searching for something, you're not just going to put the band name in. You're going to put the band name in and then one other phrase typically, right? Or you'll just do a big search, but there's only 57. And some of these designs are pretty sweet. Like as a fan, I'd be like, this is pretty good. Now, yes, there's Kiss merchandise all over the world, but this is a great opportunity for you to get involved and be a creative artist in something that maybe you really enjoy doing. Now, there's another really popular phrase which is Schitt's Creek, and that's a really popular television show. It's on Netflix. They're part of the Redbubble Partner Program. There's only 646 results. And when I include the apostrophe in there, I think it actually goes down. Yeah, there's only 204 in there. So again, I mean, people are going to search how they're going to search, right? But there's 204 results. Now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's forget about the apostrophe. So we get more results in there. We get 646. That's still under a thousand. I mean, that's not a lot, right? So again, we'd want to go into, just to quickly recap here, we'd want to go Redbubble Partner Program. And it shows up here pretty quick. And we're going to click on Redbubble Partner Program, which is the second link down when you're searching on Google. And then you're going to go explore the brands. Okay. Oh, and by the way, when you get into the Redbubble Partner Program, so in other words, when you get one design approved, you get this little thing underneath your name when you're in a Redbubble, like when you look at a Redbubble shop, you get a little fan art artist badge. That's pretty cool. So I've got one of those. It's kind of neat. It kind of makes you feel legitimate. You know, it's kind of neat. So I'm going to click Explore the Brands, and then I'm going to just scroll underneath these main ones, and I'm going to click out, check out the entire list of brands currently engaged in the program. So when I open up that and I scroll on down, I can see here is KISS, okay? 
and I just click on the name Kiss and that's the rock band and there's the logo so you know it's really them and then it says tag your work with Kiss Fan Art, Kiss Band, Kiss Music, Kiss the Band, Kiss Fan Art and when you do that it goes into the Redbubble partner program. Now they're going to, it's going to take like weeks sometimes to get these reviewed. If you submit like 10 designs, I've had it turned around in as little as two days. I've had it turned around in six weeks. So it totally depends, right? You can download all the KISS assets here and there's a bunch of pictures of Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley and, and all the band in there and lots of logos and things like that. So there's a lot of do's and don'ts here and it's you know, I say a lot I mean it's a few lines of it it's not that big a deal but you read through them and then you can really have some fun creating these designs that you think not only would look good but they're legal you don't have to worry that there, somebody's gonna come along and report you to the Redbubble police and get your account banned this is a nice guilt-free way to look after some trademarked scratch that trademark itch that you might be having with Redbubble so I hope that helps guys if you have any questions as always throw them down in the comment section if you have any comments throw them down in the comment section I really appreciate your guys uh, feedback and if you like what you saw today of course please do subscribe I've got lots more videos so check them out thank you so much for watching